Hey everyone, welcome to my first vlog. I've been wanting to try vlogging for a while, um, and especially YouTube, and I'm hoping that vlogging will help me get used to talking to the camera for proper YouTube videos that I hope to do when I get back off holiday. So yes, my first vlog. It's kind of been a long time coming, but I've never had the proper camera and I've just bought a Panasonic Lumix, which will um, hopefully work. But yeah, it's, it's nervous, it's nerve-wracking even talking to a camera and there's nobody there and yes so we'll see how it goes and apologies if I keep looking in the viewfinder up there but Messi <laughs> yeah if I keep looking in the viewfinder up there it's because I'm still not 100% with the camera yeah I'm used to snapchatting where I can see myself on the screen so I'll make sure I've got like no marks on my face um so yeah I'm off out today Percy to the vets and then food and drinks. So I need to get ready. Um, so I will check in once I have my hair done and my war paint on. My face is on, finally. I just need to put some lipstick on, which I'll do before I go, because I'm not going for about another two hours. Very, ready very early. Um, so yeah, so I check in. Um, I don't know what to do with my hair. Can't decide whether to have it curly or straight. So we will see. I'm also thinking about wearing a hat. Because I looked out the window and it's um, very rainy out, so yeah, I think I might have to wear my big fluffy hat and then wear like a dress which is um, off the shoulder, like a bardo dress, so hopefully they'll go together well and I'm willing myself to stop looking up there, I promise I will get used to it. Um, I'll take it in a bit anyway guys. So I've just got back from taking Percy to the vets, it was not a pleasant experience at all. He um, so he had his booster injection first, which he cried so much at, which he didn't the first time. Then he had his microchip, and um, <clears throat> he went to go put it in, and the first one didn't work, and he did the biggest cry ever, and he hissed, which I've never heard him hiss before. So yeah, it was not good. And, um, oh, damn, my phone. I'll be back. Back again. So yeah, they went to put the um, microchip in, and the first one didn't work, and he'd, like, hissed and cried so, so much. And the vet was like, oh, would, would you want to hold him? We'll try again. I was like, no, thanks. I'll go stand in the corner. So the vet's nurse had to hold him while the vet did it. And it worked a second time. And he didn't make a sound. But, yeah, he was um, feeling very sorry for himself. So we called to my mum's on the way back and picked him up some fresh chicken from Sunday dinner. So he's been spoiled with fresh chicken. He's currently sat behind me on the settee trying to scratch my coat. Yeah, he's uh, very sleepy. He, was, he hates being in the car. He doesn't mind being in his basket, but he hates the car. And all the way back, he was meowing and meowing. And then for the last five minutes, he kind of just started like dozing and his head was dropping. It was very, very cute. But yeah, he's very tired. So I'm going to go spoil him for a little bit before I go out. Meet my friend at um, quarter past three. So we're going to have a drink. It's a fiance's birthday, so we're going to have a celebratory drink. Then I'm off for dinner with Sammy. So, yes, hopefully more footage. My friend, um, I've known her for, since I was about six, and I'm 30 this year, uh, 31 this year. So I've known her a long, long time, and she only recently found out about my blog. So, yeah, she doesn't really know I'm vlogging at the minute, well, obviously, because I've only started today. But, yeah, we'll try and uh, keep it secret whilst also still being able to film. We'll see. <laughs> Drunk me is quite clever. Um, 
apparently I went to the court last night and bought myself a croissant and um, a big bottle of Diet Coke to get me through the day. So, yay for drunk me. But I think Percy wants the croissant more than I do. What are you doing? Trouble. What? It's really weird because when I got in last night, I was stroking him. Get off the croissant. <laughs> I was stroking him and you can feel the... Um, the microchip in the back of his neck and it's really freaky, it weirded me out, he's like a little alien cat, so I hope that settles down. What? You can't have pastry, pastry's not for cats. No, get off the glass on. <laughs> I don't know if he wants the, the actual pastry or if he just wants the bag because it rattles. What are you doing? Percy. What's this? I better go and move this croissant before he rips it to shreds and I end up with pastry flakes all over my bed. Say bye, Percy. Get off. Get off. <laughs> He's ripped my pastry bag. Bad kitty. So I thought I'd give you a little peek at um, some of the stuff I've been sent recently and because I'm such a lazy bitch, it's all just still on my sofa where I opened it. Oops. Um, yeah, there is there is quite a little bit of it. Turn that round because it's got my address on. Well, it's got my mum's address on, so you can all go stalk her. But yes, this seems to be my new thing at the minute. It's making a mess. Seems to be my new thing at the minute. I open stuff on the sofa and leave it here because the stuff in my to blog box is like overflowing, which is ridiculous really means I should get a move on and actually photograph and blog some stuff. Um, but yes, so my new lens arrived, I think it was on Saturday I went and picked it up. <clears throat> it's the 14mm um, pancake lens. I was looking on um, Amazon and they were about £114-ish and I managed to find this one on eBay. Second hand, but it's in perfect working condition and there's not a scratch on it or anything. I think it cost me about £70. Let's see if I can open it. This one-handed stuff is not easy. Yes, it's so small compared to my um, kit lens, because that's the lens I've been using. Look how tiny it is. So, yeah, I'm going to try photograph some stuff with it today. Um, I got it mainly for YouTube, because it's meant to, it's got a low F value. I think it's f stop value i think it's 2.8 can't see it on there so it's supposed to help give like a blurry background i was going to get the 50 mil which has got an f stop of 1.8 but uh, quite a few people said if you're not used to um like having to manually focus then it's probably not a good thing to get so i avoided that because i'm useless and i don't really use manual focus i'm a crap blogger and I rely on autofocus because it makes so much it makes it so much easier. So, God, I thought opening things was hard with one hand. Putting them away is worse. Um, and I also got sent the new Sleek Matte Me lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. They've added six new shades to the range, um, as you can see here. So they sent me these, and they're so pretty. This one is especially beautiful. Yeah, I can't wait to give them a go. I should turn them around so you can properly see. Yeah, so this one and this one are so, so pretty. To be fair, they're all pretty, but they're more me. So, yes. I can't wait to try them. I need to get them photographed before I go on holiday so then I can take a couple with me. Because you can never have too many lipsticks for a seven-day holiday. I also got sent... The new matte lipstick range from Avon, which they want me to do a post on, so I have to get that done today. Which this I think there's five or six of the lipsticks. A couple might have gone walkabouts. Definitely think there's five, so I'm missing one. But they want me to um, photograph them like I did before, and I put them on my lips before. But my lips are really, really dry, and these are matte lipsticks, so that could um, that could make them worse, probably. The skanky dry lips just before my holiday be a good look. And then they also got sent some stuff from Tweezermon as I'm one of their brand ambassadors. I get a lot of their new releases um, when they just before they put them out. This looks especially good. 
my tweezer man lash curlers are my favourites I've got a black and white pair at the minute and I had a rose gold pair but I lost them on holiday in December I was absolutely gutted so yeah I'm glad to have these and give them a go they're quite compact so great for travel and these the cutest little tweezers ever they've got little puffins on they're so adorable um, a facial hair remover like a manual epilator which I don't think I'll get much use for because um, I don't really have much facial hair that's what I'm saying I'm sticking to that story and then some really bright coloured geometric tweezers which are right up my street because I love triangles and geometry and stuff because I'm such a hipster and then some tweezer man brushes and a little their version of a beauty blender which is quite good because I ordered a beauty blender from beauty bay which um he's gone walk about somewhere so because my um real my nancy one is getting a bit skanky looking it's not the best and then the other day I got these I thought Lancome had sent me them or House of Fraser but it turns out that loads of people got them via Soapost but I never applied for them so lord knows I can't even get into them I give up it's some kind of little capsules um, for a face serum oh I've done it oh and I've dropped them all so it looks really really pretty and I'll probably take these on holiday with me because they're a great space saver and I'm going hand luggage only so I'm very very um, restricted on the liquids that I can take so yeah it's the liquid moisturiser so that'll come in very handy although I think I'll probably use more than there is in there and then I've got a big bag of stuff from Makeup Rev these are quite um older releases because the stuff that they send me goes to my auntie's address oh that one's a bit knackered yeah so it goes to my auntie's address and I don't go there that often to pick stuff up but for some reason they don't change my address oh found the Avon lipstick yay <laughs> so you've got a lipstick from Makeup Rev it's um got plastic packaging on so I can't open it but it's called damned and it very much looks like a colour that I would like so yay for that solid brush cleaner I've never tried anything like this before so I'm excited to give it a go I've read some quite good things about it so and apparently it works with like beauty blenders and stuff as well and I've got a hair toner from colour on colour plus on colour and on colour on colour something which I'm scared to try because if you look they're the befores at the top and the afters are below now personally I think the befores look better they look ashier whereas the bottom ones look warmer um, and let me turn the camera around so you can see the state of my hair so as you can see my hair is quite brassy at the ends can you see focus in yeah my hair is quite brassy at the ends so should come in handy but I'm scared to put it on I should really do like a little patch test or something or just not put it on and dye my hair brown like I was going to then also got some of their new brushes so a powder brush an angle powder brush so like a contour a contour brush powder brush and this snazzy looking ultra metals doesn't say what it is oh ultra contour foundation so i love these they look so pretty and i've heard like, like they're really soft and quite dense so that's good what else do we have bacterial brush cleaner and i also got sent a package from freedom makeup which is one of their palettes this one is called the black arts palette you might have seen me swatching this on snapchat it's a really really pretty palette and it's kind of like an ipad case it's like really hard plastic at the bottom and then like a board at the top with a mirror in look at all those shades it's called the black arts palette and i'm still not sure how much it is but i'm gonna say it's no more than 15 quid this color is beautiful can't really see it on the camera and this blue and this burnt orange and just all of them on oh, this one and that one um, just basically all the colours <laughs> but yeah me again
Percy's happy now, he can sleep because Beauty Bay have finally decided to sort it out for me. Yay! They said they can accept my e-signature and that's okay for them in this circumstance but it's not regular practice and they're going to get the parcel sent out to me again. Although it won't arrive until Wednesday and I fly out really early on Wednesday morning so I won't have my lipsticks for my holiday or my beauty blender. All the other stuff I may or may not have ordered because I can't remember what's in there. But <laughs> at least I'll get a parcel and I won't be 50 quid down. So that's good. But um, yeah, so I should get it when I get back off holiday. Which is kind of okay, I suppose. It's not brilliant, but I'm getting something. And um, I'll just have to put them in a YouTube video because I did plan to do a post on them. But obviously I can't now because they won't be here to change my schedule but I can maybe do um, a YouTube video of lipstick swatches and whatnot but yeah now I can go start taking blog pictures but now I'm just so angry still you know when you're just frustrated and it stays with you for ages so yeah now I just want to eat it's a really nice cafe at the end of my street as well that do like amazing greasy spoon breakfast and stuff and I can't because I go to Weight Watchers and it's not really the best breakfast Although, to be fair, when I go on holiday, I always lose weight because I rarely eat. Um, so, yes, maybe maybe the breakfast will counteract the holiday and stuff and I can still get it. Also, this is my life as a cat mum. He likes to sleep, like, on my chest. It's all red. It's been scratching. So whenever I'm sat on the sofa, he comes up and tries to sleep, uh, sleep on my chest or if I'm in bed sat up watching um, stuff on my Mac, he comes and sits on my chest, and today he's been a little parrot. Percy, what are you doing? Say hello. Are you, like, no, not interested. <laughs> so yeah, I'm saying I'm going to go take blog photos, but I don't know how I'm going to with him sat on my shoulder, so we'll see how that goes. I also need to finish doing my makeup at some point. I'm walking around with just brows and brows base and um, mascara on. Who's this? Percy. Percy, look. He also doesn't show up very well on camera with him being um, mostly all black. He's not... Don't be showing YouTube, you bum. Keep that to yourself. 